Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Whiteville, North Carolina, visiting Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, and I'm checking out a 2017 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. Now this is an amazing vehicle. It's very rare for me to be able to even look at one of these. So I'm gonna show you the inside, outside, everything I possibly can. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> This Charger Hellcat is sitting on 275 40 ZR20 Pirelli tires wrapped around low gloss black alloy wheels. Now this vehicle has a high performance Brembo braking system with the Brembo calipers in red. It also has oversized ventilated and slotted rotors on all four wheels. The name of this color is pitch black and when when you have a muscle car, sports car, in black, basically all black in this case, pretty much, it looks fantastic. I love the way a black sports car looks. And check out this hood. It has the hood scoop there, as well as the uh, these, these vents right here are basically designed to kind of draw air out of the engine bay as you're driving. As the air flows over it, it kind of siphons the air out of there. And the front is all about the cooling. No fog lights because we need some extra airflow going through the intercoolers as well as the radiator and all that good stuff. So you have a matte black grill right in here is looking awesome and check it out the SRT badging right in here. Now the headlight bezels are also black and they also have a, a, uh, an LED accent around the outside that serve as daytime running lights. You also have bifunction xenon projector headlights for your high and your low beams. This is what your key looks like and this is not the only key. This actually, this vehicle comes with two keys, a black one and a red one, but this is the black one. And the red one is put away, so I don't have access to it right now. It has the SRT on the back side. And it's designed to where it's a proximity key system, so you don't even have to take it out of your pocket to use the vehicle. Uh, it does have the uh, buttons here, the lock and unlock, the ability to open up the trunk, the remote start, and the panic button. Then you have a physical key on the inside in case you need that. Walking up to the vehicle, as long as you have the key with you, you can lock the door by pushing this button and it'll lock all the doors. And if you want to unlock it, as long as you have the key nearby this door, you just put your hand under this handle and it unlocks the door. Here's the inside of the passenger side door. And it's pretty much all black, except for some chrome there and a little bit of metallic accents. And then you have a contrast stitching here in a French design, all soft to the touch around your arm, as well as up in here. Here's your threshold area. You have manually adjusted seats here for the passenger. Premium leather seat seating surfaces. And check it out, you have the contrast stitching. You have these cross stitchings right here. You also have the perforations in the center. But that's not all, check it out. You have the SRT embossed in the back of the seat with the Hellcat 
face right there looking awesome. And the seats are very comfortable. They're not over intrusive as far as the bolstering. Or any bolstering. Uh, they're just perfect. And then you have the SRT floor mats with the white contrast stitching that hook in place. Soft to the touch dash with the SRT and the little Hellcat right there. Lockable glove compartment and it's a felt lined here at the bottom. And then you have that shelf system at the top to help keep it organized. Here's the inside of the back door. You have that same styling with the stitching here on the side. Soft to the touch. Uh, arm surfaces here and then you have the contrast stitching. Bottle holder and storage compartment there. You have the same style for the back seats. Looking all awesome. The back seats are heated as well with the perforations there in the center. Plenty of leg room. The seat, the floor actually goes quite a ways down there so it feels like you're sitting in a chair. There's a pocket in the back of the front seat. You also have two USB charge ports here in the center with your heated seat controls. It does have a significant hump there in the center for your center passenger. And it does have the latch system for car seats back here. We saw what the front wheel looks like. Let's take a peek at the back wheel and the uh, the Brembo caliper and rotor. Looking pretty awesome. Okay, taking a look at the back of the vehicle, you have the deck lid spoiler, gloss deck lid spoiler, a backup camera hidden right in here. You have the charger and the SRT Hellcat badgings. You also have parking sensors across the back and of course dual exhausts and now would be a good time to demonstrate the remote start I think. What do you think? So let's go ahead and double tap the key here. Sounds awesome. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Nice, nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look in the trunk area. So we just double tap this, pops open and lifts up all the way for us. Here's your cargo area, it's all carpeted. You have a place to hang some bags or whatever there. You can also secure a net pocket in the back. You have two points of light here and here to illuminate your trunk area at nighttime. There's another bag holder. Now you have the ability to fold down the seats in a 60-40 split fashion so you can add to your cargo space and you can do that while still maintaining some passenger space in the back. Under here we have a message. Do not remove anything in this trunk. So this is some stuff that that uh, this goes to the next to the, the first owner you know so these are things that van wanted the new first owner to have you have um, no spare tire but it does have a tire inflator kit as well as a huge battery over there there's a little funnel which i'll explain that in a second the fuel door is on the driver's side which is convenient and a safety feature i think the button to open it up is right here in the door on the side of the door there and it pops open like so and it's a capless design so you don't have to worry about a cap being loose or the cap uh, you know being loose in the check engine light on stuff like that it does have a a rubber seal there but it does require you use that little funnel i showed you if you're going to use a gas can if you need a gas can to use that uh like if you run out of gas or something like that but generally you just pump the gas and don't even worry about it to start it up if you don't want to use the remote start you just have the key on the inside, could be in your pocket or whatever, and you put your foot on the brake and hold it, and you push this red candy-like button right here.
Okay, so here's the floorboard in front of the driver's seat. You can see the floor mat hooks in place in two places to keep it straight. You have your accelerator and brake pedal with the aluminum covers as well as little rubber, raised rubber grips there. You have a place to put your foot. This foot rests back here right behind the foot actuated parking brake. Okay, let's take a look under the hood. To open the hood, there's a latch a little bit to the right of center, right in here. Just move it to the left and you can lift it up a little ways. It goes the rest of the way by itself. All right, <laughs> so there you go. Man, impressive. Supercharged. 6.2 liter V8, Hemi V8. Massive engine just wedged in this, this car. And you see your supercharger belt here on the front and center. Your air intake is there on the right side. It has SRT written in it. 707 horsepower. That's only if you have the red key. Uh, the black key limits the vehicle to a 500 horsepower vehicle. So your brake fluid access is there. And the actual firewall, I don't know if you can see, it's insulated. Now this engine is paired to a beefed up torque flight, eight speed automatic transmission. And it works, I mean the eight speed, if you're not familiar with eight speed just in general on the Chrysler products, it is a fantastic transmission. And this one is a little bit beefed up because we got a lot of horsepower to handle here. Okay, here's the inside of the, pass the driver's side door. Now it's just like the passenger side, except for it has a few more buttons. We already saw the button here for your uh, fuel door. You have some memory seat buttons. There's two memory seat buttons that you can choose to save. And then you have your door locks, power windows, and then your side mirror adjustments. And your side mirrors are automatic here on the front. One touch up and down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. I'm gonna show you these are laminated uh, panes of glass here. Let's see if I can zoom in and show you what I'm talking about. So you can see there's two panes of glass with this acoustic material on the inside, right between them, sandwiched between them. So that way it keeps the outside vibrations from noise to from entering the vehicle. At least that's the idea anyway. Has the premium Alpine sound system. Power seat here for the driver. And the power four-way lumbar adjustments. Right in here is your headlight controls. You have automatic, off, parking lights, and then on. Your interior dimmer switch here uh, for your gauges is here, and right here is for your ambient lighting. And then you have the ability to open up the trunk. And you have an ambidextrous handle here, which you can unlock. And you have a tilt and telescoping steering column. When you get right where you want it, you just can, can you secure it with this latch right here. The side mirrors have these little approach lights here that illuminate the floor, I mean the ground as you walk up to the vehicle. It also has this little triangle and that's part of your blind spot monitoring system. That triangle will actually illuminate when there's a vehicle in your blind spot. So there's a sensor right back in here and it will illuminate that blind spot indicator if there's a vehicle from your side mirror all the way back to one car length behind the, the car. So on the highway, if there's somebody in your blind spot, it'll let you know. Now, if you put your turn signal on uh, while a vehicle's in that area, it's gonna flash that triangle, but also give you an audible warning. This also serves for a cross, cross path detection system. So if you're per, uh, perpendicularly parked, similar to these vehicles here, and you're backing out, 
and sometimes you can't see around the cars next to you so the, this system will let you know if there's a vehicle coming from the appropriate side. I love all the Hellcat badging on this vehicle. Okay, let's start looking on the inside here from the driver's seat and very comfortable seats. This leather is feeling high quality and I have the lumbar support adjusting my back and just overall comfortable seats. Have plenty of leg room and knee room here. I can almost put my legs completely straight out. All right, so let's look at the window sticker quickly so you can use the pause button to get some more information. Now they haven't laminated this one. It will get laminated, but I just want to show it to you. Well, I got the chance here. And I'm going to put this information in the description of the video too, so you can look at it there. Okay, let's start here on the steering wheel. Now it's a heated steering wheel and it's just stunning. Uh, it has this flat bottom here, flat bottom steering wheel. You have the smooth leather, perforated leather here on the end. Grips here at the top, the white stitching on the inside. Very impressive. And then you have the SRT badging here in the center. You have paddle shifters here up top. They stick up quite a way so you can really get to them. Just below those, uh, right on the back of the steering wheel is a up and down toggle switch with a center button. Your volume is on the right to where you can you know, use your fingers to adjust the volume and the center button in the back here is to change your audio source like AM, FM, satellite radio, that kind of stuff. On the back of the steering wheel on this side, you can change through your audio tracks or radio stations by going up and down. And then the center button cycles through your presets. The cruise control is here on the right side. And on the left side, you have your Bluetooth controls. You can answer calls, hang up. You also have a very advanced voice recognition system that you can you know, make calls. You can also change the radio station, adjust the climate control, go to specific addresses on the navigation, all using your voice, so that's really good. These buttons right here correspond with the screen between the gauges, which we'll get to in a second. There's your turn signal with your windshield wiper controls. All right, okay, so here's your gauges, and check it out, man. It's got the, the red background, the RPMs. Awesome, 200 mile an hour speed speedometer. But right here in the center, you have a digital screen and it shows your fuel here on the right side, your engine coolant temperature here on the left side, and then a you know what gear you're in, outside temperature, which this is optional, this stuff here at the top. You can change it whatever you want in the settings, and then your range right there. So right in the center you have a digital speedometer. But I'm gonna use the the buttons here on the steering wheel to kind of cycle through to show you this is all part of a menu system. So scrolling down, this is your so you can see it's part of a menu system. The first one is speedometer. Going down is your vehicle info, which you can get more information by scrolling to the right. You see those little bars at the bottom uh, show you that there's more options here. So I'm gonna scroll to the right. Coolant temperature, transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage, air intake temperature, engine torque, that's pretty cool. Engine power air fuel ratio boost pressure your coolant temperature your your intercooler coolant temperature and it goes back to your tire pressure scrolling down again goes to performance this is where you can have your lap timers 0 to 60 timers all that good stuff top speed this vehicle has been 31 miles per hour has one mile on it so it'll give you an idea how fresh and new this vehicle is. So you have all your timers here, eighth of a mile, quarter mile, braking distance. You also have a G-force meter for your front and back side sides. All right, scrolling down again, goes to your fuel economy. So this is where you can get uh, see your average, and then it has that meter right there, uh, your range, and then you can see. This screen, see there's two screens here. One uh, shows your average and then a meter showing you real time and then a range. 
go over to the other one, it shows your current miles per gallon on the right. So that's constantly changing in a yellow. And so if it's just distracting, you can go to the other screen. Scrolling down again, you can go to your trip info. This is where you'll find your miles, your miles per gallon average during those miles, and then your time to drive those miles. Scrolling down again, audio, this is what your radio is doing. Stored messages will show up here. Screen setup, this is where you can go in and change the things on the corners there if you want to have different information. And then you can have a speed warning, let you know, hey, if you go over 100 miles an hour or whatever you set it to, it'll kind of beep at you and get your attention. Uh, diagnostics, you can actually go in and look at codes. And it goes back to your digital speedometer. Pretty awesome. Now, you don't have to go into all that stuff, but it's there in case you want to. All right. So here's your center stack area. And the 2017 models really have an upgrade with their Uconnect system. And the, the clarity of the screen is awesome. Just everything about it is, uh, is an upgrade. So I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. It just looks fantastic. I mean, you don't see any pixelation. It's just clear as crystal clear. And it's easy to use too. You have these icons here at the bottom that stay there. We're in the first icon now, which is the radio. And you can see where the radio screen is showing you what's playing. You also have an AM, FM, satellite radio options here. You also have presets at the top or favorites. You could go into your audio. You can adjust your fade and balance. It also has an equalizer, speed adjusted volume, that kind of stuff. Next icon is your media. So you can play music through the sound system in other ways besides your radio. So you have your Bluetooth. Once you pair a device, you can uh, you can play wirelessly through your Bluetooth, like your phone or something. Check out that Hellcat in the background. That's awesome. Auxiliary input and two USB ports. Climate, uh, you have a dual zone climate control, driver and passenger, you can sync those if you want, where you want the air to blow, and then you have your fan speed, you recirculate the air, air conditioning, front and rear defrosters, all that good stuff. Uh, apps, this is where you can um, basically change the icons to whatever you want. There's lots of different apps here. And so right now we have the navigation right here. Let's, let's say we wanna change that to the performance pages. Just push and hold that and drag it down and it replaces the navigation with that screen so if we want to go back we can put the navigation back there if we want okay so and I'll get into the performance pages in a few minutes we'll check that out controls you have your heated and ventilated seat controls heated steering wheel your driver has heated and ventilated seats as well you also have your uh, dimmer uh, basically your dimmer for your your rear view mirror here and you also have lots of settings you can go into so if you want to beep the horn when you lock it or you don't want that to happen uh, you can adjust your headlights when I turn off all that good stuff all right so the next one is your navigation so you can put in a specific address uh, you can go home work you have the, those you know quick buttons right there and you can also view the map so let's take a look at that this map will actually uh, the background will turn black and you'll see the white uh, roads at nighttime so it looks a little bit different at night kind of zoom out and you can see that it's um, you know you can see the words really good and it's a pretty nice touch screen the, the clarity of it looks fantastic okay so the last one is your phone and once you pair your phone you'll have access to your contacts recent calls you can dial with a pad here a little pad that pops up with the numbers you have favorites at the top you also have the ability to transfer it back to your cell phone if you want to have a private conversation if there's people in the vehicle that kind of stuff you have your outside temperature your clock your digital compass right there as well as what you have your climate control set at for your driver and passenger all right, continuing down, and we have the traditional volume tuned through the stations. We already saw the uh, the start button there, and then you have the ability to mute the radio. You can turn the screen off if it's just distracting you. You can do that number. You just tap it to turn it back on, and you have your your four-way flashers here. Your parking sensors, you can turn those off. You can also turn off traction control. 
um, if you want to spin tires or something like that it does have a some more choices I'll show you in just a second so you have the launch which is not activated once you activate that you can customize your launch RPMs and all kinds of stuff and you can let's go ahead and push our SRT and it's going to go into the adjustments here so you have you can customize the power uh, the transmission paddle shifters you can turn those on depending on what you want to have on or off your traction you can change so like say we have sport and we have track okay and it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on uh, with the you know the suspension and engine and all that stuff and then you can go into the performance pages it takes a minute for that to load up okay so now you can look at different um, look at your timers here current last best and you can save different ones you can also have different gauge clusters and keep an eye on certain things you can have that one or that one that one engine gives you your pound feet of torque your horsepower all that good stuff right there on one screen is pretty awesome as well as your boost pressure there in the center all right you can also put it in valet mode you know so if you don't want the valet to you know mess up your car or whatever you go into race options and this is where you activate your launch control um, you can even turn on a shift light and then you can adjust your launch range but launch control I think it has to be a 500 or a thousand miles on the vehicle before you can activate launch control All right, so that's your SRT button. Now you have some redundancy for your climate controls. You don't always have to go into that climate screen. So you have your fan speed, your temperatures, and your you know your automatic mode and off, and then you recirculate the air front and rear defrosters here. You have a 12 volt power supply with a key showing you that it turns on and off with the ignition. You also have a place right here that's pretty big enough to put most cell phones. So you can charge your cell phone in that location if you want. And you have this little pocket right here, and it has the Dodge Brothers name in it. Okay, so here's your shifter, and let's go ahead and put it in reverse. So two things are going to happen. The backup camera is going to pop up here with the active guidelines. Also, your backup parking sensors will pop up here. Not only will it give you an audible alert if you get close to something, it's also going to give you a visual indicator there on which side it is and how far away it is so that's pretty pretty handy when backing up continuing down there's neutral there's drive that's your normal drive position if you want to manually cycle through the gears like a ratchet shifter move it to the left and look at there you can just bump it like that change through your gears and you'll know what gear you're in because it'll show right up here and at any time to put it back in drive all you have to do is just bump it to the right and the vehicle will take over the the gear shifting for you all right so this little thing rolls back and you have some cup holders that are illuminated you also have a place to put something right here and here in the center and then you have uh, it's open here in the center so you can put more than just cups in here you could like put your cell phone or whatever in there all right, so here's your center armrest, and it's big enough to share with your passenger, and it's quite soft. It has the, uh, the stitching here on the sides, lifts up like so, and then you have a felt-lined compartment here with this removable tray, and this is where you'll find a 12-volt power supply that's connected to the battery, so you can actually charge your phone when the vehicle's off. So you don't have to have the vehicle on for this to be. Uh, have power to it. You also have your USB ports and auxiliary inputs back here. All right. Okay, so up here you have an auto dam rear view mirror with two buttons, and these are emergency button and also roadside assistance button. This vehicle has its own cellular connection, so even if your uh, battery is dead on your phone or if you just don't have it with you, uh, you can still get help. Place to put your shades as a like a foam padding on the inside there 
you have some tap lights with a flood light right there and then you have more of a focused spotlight in case you need a more focused beam for reading or whatever without blinding yourself right in here is your home link garage door opener controls this is for your sunroof which we'll get to in just a second your visors have mirrors and lights in them they also have this little extension here and they have the ability to extend out so you especially helpful when you uh, use the visors for the side of the vehicle okay so let's look at the sunroof so the sunroof has a um, a cover that blocks 100 percent of the light and you can open it up you can vent the sunroof or you can open it up close it and if you just don't want any light to come in I like the fact that it gives you the ability to block hundred percent of the light so that's good all right let's look at the visibility in the back now the pillars in the back are a little bit wider than average but uh, not too bad you can see pretty good it has the, the glass there and the big window and of course you have the backup camera the parking sensors blind spot detection system cross path detection all that good stuff too All right, so there you have it. 2017 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. Crazy awesome vehicle. Most powerful, it probably is or, or close to the most powerful powerful four-door vehicle, you know, production vehicle, I guess. So anyways, I'm impressed with it. So thank you for watching and Thank you to Van Underwood, Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, here in Whiteville, North Carolina, for allowing me to show off another vehicle. This is the most epic vehicle since, pretty much. But uh, check it out. It's got the Apple CarPlay and Google Android Auto uh, capable, and that's new for 2017 with the new upgraded system. So just wanted to point that out. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.